Peggy 3. It's no good scoring three goals if you end up conceding four. Here are some useful tips for keeping things tight at the back. Don't be overly aggressive when defending. Only attempt to tackle if you've got a good chance of winning the ball. Otherwise, you're liable to leave a gap at the back for your opponent to exploit. Sprinting into and mistiming tackles will let attackers get past you. Instead, close the gap between you and the attacker and then slow down as you approach. Stay on your feet and wait for the right moment to perform a standing tackle by tapping the B button. If you go shoulder to shoulder, hit B to push or pull your opponent and disturb their run. But do this sparingly or the referee will rightly blow for a foul. When up against a quick or skillful player, you might be better off holding LT and using Jockey to track your opponent's run, allowing you to maintain enough distance so they won't beat you with a change of direction. It's very effective when defending down the wings. Jockey the attacker's run and you should be able to block their cross or prevent a run into the box. Slide tackling should be a last resort. Don't commit to one unless you are sure you can win the ball. Slide tackles, when successful, are great if you're playing against someone who doesn't make unpredictable runs and for making last-ditch blocks on shots. Teammate Contain is a fantastic way to mark a player with a ball and limit their movement by using your AI teammates to help you. Hold RB to send the closest AI-controlled player towards the attacker. While you use the player you're directly controlling to mark players making runs or to block through balls. But don't overuse it. Continually pressing RB can drag players out of position and destroy your shape. If the player is between your midfield and defence, try bringing an attacker or midfielder back into defence to help out, limiting space and avoiding pulling a defender out of position. You can switch between players by hitting LB or by flicking the right stick towards that player. Turn off auto-switching in the game menu if you want complete control over who you have selected. If you're still being exposed at the back, try creating a custom tactic with a deeper defensive line. And experiment with players and formations to plug any gaps. Finally, be patient. Sometimes your opponent will do the hard work for you and make a mistake by running the ball out of play or playing a sloppy pass. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more FIFA 15 tips.